Hey everyone, at Blizzard Beach. For the last time for my annual water park pass. Not sure when I'll be back here again. Just waiting for this thunderstorm to pass by and oh man, it is slow. But I couldn't get in until after 2 p.m. because that's one of the restrictions. I don't have any blockout dates, but I can't get in before 2 p.m. Um, that's when it started. <laughs> Great. And I could wait till Thursday. I can get in that day too, but it could be like this again Thursday, so. Look, man, it's a double rainbow and, and you can actually see the end of the rainbow. I don't think I've ever seen the end of a rainbow. Well, if nothing else, we can walk around and look at stuff. I'm sure there's nothing new in the last several years, many years, I don't know. But we'll walk around and take a look. You might remember this from my video last year, except there was that Typhoon Lagoon. Hmm. Come to think of it, I might have actually got made the uh, <laughs> t-shirt over here at Blizzard Beach, not Typhoon. It was Blizzard Beach, not Typhoon Lagoon. Sorry. Trying to make a water effect, kind of like this shirt. Didn't work, but I tried. Man, if this opens while I'm here. <laughs> Oh, still quite a few people here. Let's go into the beach house. Beach house. That's German. It means house. Here's a Speedo. I used to have a Speedo. Like, it was like this, different colors, but it just, you know, fell apart because I'd worn it so many times. $42, though. This one's $38. Not as, that's not too bad. That's actually not bad. I mean, you could buy two of these Tommy Bahama ridiculous things. I mean, this is the swimsuit, just like that one. Except that has this name on it instead of that name. Again. Almost half as much. Probably just as good. Fuel rods, just like at Universal, it's $30. But, unlike Universal, it's free to switch. That doesn't show you the price, but it's free to switch. Over here at the Lada Wada Lodge, they have milkshakes. I don't know if they're really milkshakes, they're probably the same thick crap they serve it in uh, other theme parks, but they do have it in peppermint, which is nice. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see the rest of it, just beverages, beer, um, desserts, Chocolate dipped key lime pie, frozen novelties, assorted milkshakes, very expensive. So I'm going to just sit here and wait for, oh jeez, I bought this milkshake anyway. Look, these are little micro candy canes. Candy cane sprinkles. I don't know if you can see it, but getting a, um, pretty cool fog effect on this from the difference in temperature uh, I was really thick a moment ago it's not bad but it's really vanilla soft surf ice cream with peppermint not a milkshake as somebody who grew up in the Northeast. <laughs> I remember the days of seeing these, except it wasn't theming, they were actually for skis. People would steal these these days. So yeah, this is a large ski lodge style building, but you can't go in it. So what's up with that? Everything's on the outside. Again, here's another look at it. It's a pretty good sized building, but it's only for cast members, apparently. Three levels. I would like to take the chairlift up here, which is a really cool way of getting up here. That's a great idea. But it probably won't run while I'm here. I do want to get on Team Boat Springs. We'll see. 
and um, up here on the runoff rapids because that wasn't here it wasn't open for a long time and the rumor was it never was going to reopen but it it did now this is what happens at all water parks when their river gets shut down they all just kind of get stuck in one spot kind of weird this this happens by itself a lot of these look like they're a little under underinflated but the um Disney cast members didn't do this. They just bunch up. Well, there's still gonna be long lines because a lot of people are just waiting it out. And I'm being reminded right now, this is a Christmas themed water park. Great. Okay, well, as I'm sitting here eating this frozen treat, I'm seeing a lot of people moving around. Hmm. I'm also hearing thunder, so I don't know. Yep. I should have listened to I was going to actually come up to this point and wait for it to reopen. I didn't do that. And now I'm in a line. Not too bad, but still. Look what's running now. It's so funny that the um, those bars come down by themselves, but they don't in an actual ski resort. Huh. Guess I figure people don't know what they're doing. If they don't live up north or you know in the country, it's snow or you get the idea. Haha, <laughs> 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 just kidding, they're just cycling the ride. I should know better. But it is a good sign that it could start up again. Yeah. There you go. Woohoo! Hopefully this is tilted down enough. Oh, I seem to have that problem. Woohoo! What with the open slide? Because it'd be brighter. And then there's no line either, so. Whoa! That's fun. Probably said nobody. And light is green, trap is clean. Woo! Here we go. We will. Woo! You'll be fine. Ooh, oh, darn, I fell. <laughs> Here's a look at the slides we just went on. The right is the covered and the left is the uncovered. The one that isn't covered seems to have a shorter line. The covered one is pretty cool though. Must resist 
urge to vlog in the river. Let's stop. Oh yeah, single riders. I love single riders. Because of the wide angle lens, you probably can't see it, but there's a brewer up there. This whole thing is on a rail, with on wheels, and it moves back and forth based on how much the tension, how much tension needs to be on the cable. Look at the range of movement. That's like three feet, maybe more. Unless, well, I guess those markers are feet, so I guess it's six feet. Hey, I want to ride in that one. But I'm going to um, ride when I get up here. But I figured that we should go on the chairlift again. So the one that goes a few times hey, probably it. isn't that intense. Yeah, I'm still not going to do it. Slow it, slow it. Well, since I had one more day for my annual water park pass, I came back to just shoot photos, and I figured I'd shoot a little video. Yeah, this isn't in 4K, sorry, but it is a higher quality video than you'll have with the GoPro. There is the back of Everest. Over here is Pandora. That is Colorado Springs, which kind of reminds me of the concept art for Universal's epic Universal Universe of Universes Universe Hotel Universe Universe Up here of course you can see Hollywood Studios and the most of and that is the most of Galaxy's Edge in Florida you're going to see on my channel anytime soon unfortunately sorry don't have an annual pass anymore and don't know any team uh, cast members who can help me get in for the preview. And of course, and of course, over here is Epcot. Just looking at this plunge from up here makes gives me anxiety. I can't imagine anyone going on it. This one over here goes a little gentle. It drops, uh, drops. Almost, I almost want to go on that that last drop. It was just this. This and it wasn't as intense over there, maybe. Let's go in the wave pool. I like how the wave pool has tubes, and there are actually tubes available. I've been here before where you have to wait quite a long time. But first, let's get down from up here. Hmm, how should we get down from up here? Oh, I know, on a slide. Hey, look, it's a Blues Brothers ride. Sweet. What, what, Blizzard Beach? 
Oh, I guess it could be that too. this video all the way through. Thanks for watching this video all the way through and please exit through the wave shop. Uh, I mean the gift shop. Ooh, now you probably couldn't hear me at Typhoon Lagoon because I had water in the, <laughs> the microphone. So check out the links. Please check out Dave Tech my Roddy Paws channel, the actual gift shop, and of course my California playlist if you haven't seen that. If you have, you know, maybe I'll watch it again. Hey, it looks expensive flying out there. Oh, I'm actually getting pushed away. Oh, usually I get, usually I get stuck over there. <laughs>